Water is still plenty cold out there, reminding us that it's winter. The air, though, is pretty mild. Alan Rose standing by with more on that. Hi, Alan. Hi, Paula. Yeah, well put for President's Day. Nice and mild up and down the coast. Temps today generally in the 60s. Now, later this week, we've got some winds to worry about. I want to show you the very latest on this high wind watch that was issued earlier this afternoon by the National Weather Service. It's in effect on Wednesday, so still about 36 hours out for this. Most of Santa Barbara County, including the south coast, and interior portions, the mountains mainly of Ventura County, we could see winds gusting in the higher terrain up near 60 miles an hour. Areas of fog still in the forecast tonight. We saw that dense fog in Santa Barbara this morning. I think tonight into tomorrow morning, mostly to the south, out towards L.A. and Ventura counties. Windy. We talked about that through the middle of the week. Temperatures, though, they're warming up as we look at the late week and weekend forecast. And unfortunately, it doesn't bode well for the drought. We have dry conditions expected for the next seven days. Here's what we saw today on President's Day. 66 degrees in Santa Barbara, 67 in slow, mid-60s out towards Ventura today, 68 in San Inez, and topping out at a just right 70 this afternoon in Paso Rubles. Paso now cooling down to 64 degrees, 56 in San Luis Obispo, mid-50s in Santa Maria and San Inez. And now down to 58 degrees out at the Santa Barbara Airport. Winds were pretty active this afternoon, even into the evening out towards San Luis Obispo. And I think we'll see a repeat of that tomorrow. So gusty winds for some during the afternoon and evening hours. But staying dry as we have generally a west to east flow in the upper levels. We call this a zonal flow pattern. And for us, that keeps all the storminess out of the forecast. So it's a rain-free work week and weekend ahead. But let me show you what's cooking up to the north as we fly off to the coast of the Pacific Northwest. This area of low pressure, which follows these arrows, and that means rain moves into Seattle and Portland as we head towards Wednesday. For us, no rain. Instead, it amplifies the winds. And that's why that high wind watch is in effect for us for the middle of the work week. So for tomorrow, still some breezy to gusty conditions out there. I think it's strongest tomorrow north of Santa Barbara. Then on Wednesday, really picks up across the south coast. Flirting with 70 in Montecito, 67 in Carpinteria and Santa Barbara. A beautiful day out there to return to work and school after a nice and long holiday weekend. We'll see some mid-60s in Lompoc and Gaviota tomorrow. A few 70s sprinkling the map in San Luis Obispo County. Slow at 70, AG at 70, and Napomo at 70. Also forecasting a high of 70 in Santa Paula, 72 in Ojai, and 67 tomorrow in Ventura. On the channel, we'll see a west swell 5 to 7 feet. Again, the highest surf north of Santa Barbara and a variable wind coming in at 10 to 20 knots. Back on land in Santa Barbara, the seven-day forecast, windy on Wednesday. The winds subside by the end of the week as those temperatures warm. And look at that Saturday forecast, high 70s. A little cooler for Sunday and Monday, but still very comfortable. Lompoc seven-day forecast, 60s here through Thursday. Day, but we're setting up nicely for the weekend with 70s, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Santa Maria seven-day forecast, lows in the 40s, highs though they're climbing. We're up into the 70s by Thursday with no rain in sight. And in San Luis Obispo, lots of 70s expected all the way through the weekend. Now, the glimmer of hope I can offer up is that even though we're dry through day 7, day 9 and 10, which would be the end of next week, may be our next storm system. So we'll look okay, ahead to that then. We'll look ahead. We'll keep